Hello and welcome to... Okay, three, Focus two, up. one, go. Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be reacting to the big deadline day news that on January 31st, 2023, at exactly 5.50 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 minutes before the European transfer window shut, Tottenham announced the signing of the Spaniard right wing back Pedro Porro from Portuguese club Sporting Lisbon for a 45 million euro price tag. That is 40 million uh, Great British pounds. This was announced on deadline day, so it is a last gasp move from Spurs. Their first um, actual acquisition of the transfer window, Dan Juma was simply on a loan. But what a signing this is. This is a huge signing for us. And this is the start of Conte's imprint of his system on our team. Yeah, Pedro Porro, huge signing. Our first quality wingback. Yeah. I'm pretty sure ever since Kyle Walker left, he's been our last quality uh, wingback. Somewhat trippier for like a year or two. But then he fell off. Um, but I believe after Kyle Walker, we've spent like, what? So like much on right backs. Million so on right much backs. on right backs. We've even terminated the contracts of two today. Serge Aurier, uh, last transfer window, and Matt Doherty today for him to continue to Atletico Madrid. Matt but. Doherty, uh, contract, contract being terminated. We'll have another video on that yeah. coming out around the same time as this video. But this video is all about Pedro Porro. Yeah, what, what a, a guy. What a guy. Two goals, six assists so far this season in the um, Portugal League First Division. Yeah, what it's, a guy. It's a top tier signing. He put out two top tier performances when we played uh, sporting in the Champions League. I think Spurs have had the, their eyes on Pedro Porro. Fans have high, had their eyes on Pedro Porro since probably November. So, really, I think a lot of people will be disappointed at how long it's taken. The fact that it took until the end of the transfer window to find us for us to finally reach that. Um, price point of his release cause I think a lot of people will be disappointed but regardless we've got a big big signing at right wing back of Pedro Porro um this is uh, I think this is going to be one of the biggest changes to our team because his crosses and his attacking mentality is one of the biggest parts of his uh game as a player because Imagine Kane on the end of some of Pedro Porro's crosses. Go onto YouTube or wherever and watch what some of his compilations of crosses. They are absolutely unbelievable, and they make Emerson's Royales. The, I mean, they're all right. We already knew Emerson Royales were not that good, but they literally make his look like garbage. The way Pedro Porro crosses the ball into the box is unbelievable, and to have players like Kane lurking in the box, Ben Tanker, Kulusevski on that near side, it's gonna be. A, we're in for a very, very exciting time with Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. Is we've had if with Spence and Doherty if they were still at here with us at Spurs we would have four right backs in total which yes. is way too many. much. Spence has gone off on loan at Rons, which we will also have another video on which will come out around the same time as this video. Um, so this gives Pedro Porro a clear starting point. Yeah, he's he's probably gonna start against Man City. We'll he's need former him. club by the we're way. We're going yep we're going to need him against yeah. Man City. Yeah. Emerson will be our backup on the bench. Um, just a quick insight into Pedro Porro's career so far. He started his career, relatively young career, very young career, uh, just at the age of 23 years old. He started his career at Girona before moving to Manchester City in summer of 2019. From there, he went on loan to Real Valladolid before continuing to sporting on loan and then signing permanently for sporting just last summer. And now he's off to the Premier League with Tottenham Hotspur, I'm excited for this signing because this is gonna. I think one of our biggest problems at right in our team is not only our defense but our wing backs. And if we can get Perisic on that left side, Perisic and Poro are is that's gonna be a top tier combination. We play a primarily wing back attacking, attacking. We had primarily wing back attacking tactics. Yeah. That's Conte's tactics, and we don't even have top tier wing backs, but now we do. We got Perisic over the summer, and now Pedro Porro. Yeah. So we are set. Conte 
has got his players at wing back at the wing back position. We know he loves Perisic, had him at Inter, and now he's got Pedro Porra, which he really impressed us when, he, yeah. when we played against them twice. Yeah. Drew once and lost against them in the group stage of the Champions yeah. League. So this is going to be a very, very big signing. Um, of course, there are a lot of questions unanswered in this transfer window. I don't think we were ever going to see a new goalkeeper in this transfer window. I think that was so unlikely. A, summer will be a big time to I get a new we'll goalkeeper. I think we'll see David Raya come in. Um, there's a couple other on the list, but I like David Raya the most. He he's looks been like excellent the best. this season. Yeah, he's, he has been unbelievable. Even the last two years, when we faced Brentford in the League Cup semifinal under Jose, he was playing for Brentford, and I remember him making a bunch of top-tier saves. So he's going to be one to very much watch out for and even a potential successor to Hugo Lloris. Um, but the, the problem with this transfer and then the thing that I really hoped we'd solve is that center back position. I really hope that we get a trustable, good center back to put in there. But really, that's because we have the worst defense in the top 12. The top 12, out of the top 12 teams, we have the worst defense. So... This is it's a slightly concerning point uh, point to look at as a Spurs fan, um, and I really wish that we had done something this transfer window to resolve that because right wing back's great, but and Danjuma is a top tier addition at the front, but I really wish we had gotten a good center back in. I mean, we were going for Piero Hincapi who plays for Bayern Leverkusen, um, but we weren't able to get him. We can hunt for one in the summer. Pierre Hincapi, Ecuadorian at the age of twenty one, he's still really young. Yeah, and. I believe he can uh, play left back too, as well. Uh, yeah, as but I back, think he's much better he's at left center back. He's not gonna play at wing back. Yeah. He's probably he can play left center back. Yeah, but he can even he I he could probably adapt through the middle too. Yeah, I think he can. Um, but he'll probably play on that left side if we get him, of course. But that's um of course to see for the future. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Pedro Porro, I think Emerson Royale. I think Pedro Porro coming in will really improve Emerson's Royale perfor- Emerson Royale's performances because Emerson will likely play in FA Cup, maybe Champions League. Yeah. But it's going to be the same Emerson's, case that we've seen Emerson's with everyone else. Co- competing for his spot yeah. at right wing back. Pedro Porro is going to give him competition. Yeah. And if it wasn't for Emerson's two really good last performances against Man City and who was it? Man City um, and uh, Fulham. Fulham, yeah. If those it wasn't for those, classes. or full, no, he didn't, wait. No, it was, it, it was, was full of, yeah, was full of. If it wasn't for those two performances, I think we Emerson, have sold him. Emerson would have gone out him. the door and we would have kept Doherty. Yeah, but it was the other way around and we kept Emerson and sadly terminated the contract of Doherty. We'll explain that in another video, but that's it for our reactions to Pedro Poro's signing for Tottenham Hotspur. A huge, huge deal for the North London side on deadline day of the transfer window, the January transfer window. If you enjoyed and want to see more Tottenham Hotspur content, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what your reactions are to this signing. And until next time, come on, you Spurs!